Guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com, and today we're going to be looking at a brand new uh, port to Ubuntu, and it's actually using the Unity interface that can be found on the Netbook Edition as of now, and will be the standard desktop for the GNOME shell in 11.04. Naughty Narwhal, I think it's going to be code name, and this is it over here on the side. Um, it's called Unity, if you didn't know, but. First off, let's head over to the website that kind of broke this story, and it's omgubuntu.co.uk. And you haven't, if you haven't been there, you're really missing out. Especially, uh, I'm assuming, uh, if you're watching this video, you're a heavy user of Ubuntu or at least some Linux distro. If you're not, I would recommend that you give it a try. It's free, so you can't lose anything. And uh, here it is. So really the big news that we're going to be covering today is a Ubuntu Unity uh, 2D gets a PPA for Maverick and Natty testers. And the cool thing is this is actually the 2D version of Unity. And the cool thing about 2D, 2D is um, it was announced that they would only be doing a 3D version, which would mean if you had like an older desktop that didn't um, support 3D graphics rendering or uh, 3D processing or whatever, uh, which a lot of Ubuntu computers are older computers that people have, you know, wiped of Windows or something and then installed Ubuntu on. But the cool thing is this is 2D. It requires no graphics card, no external graphics card, no external uh, third-party graphics. Um, you know, um, what am I thinking of here? Drivers or anything. So let's take a look at it. Uh, here, as you can see, it looks j a lot like, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I use Docky on a K. Actually, I use Docky as my main uh, managing tool, and it looks a lot like a dock. As you can see here, you can slide these back and forth. Uh, the, still, the GNOME command still works, so if you hold down Control and Alt and then um, the arrow buttons, it will switch workspaces. And they're saying that uh, there's going to be a workspace switcher down here. I don't think there is. Now there's not one yet, uh, but anyhow, uh, as you can see, this is how you would access all your applications, or one way you could. You click up here at the Ubuntu um, icon, and then you can search for every whatever you wanted. So let's just say that we wanted to open, um, I don't know, what, what do we want to open? Let's say uh, gedit. So as you can see, we'll just uh, type that in, and it comes up here. Here's gedit. And it opens right up. Of course, that was docked on my um, on my uh, Unity here, so it works great. And another cool thing about Unity is, well, actually, there's a lot of cool things. So uh, it uses whatever icon set that you're using, and it makes all of your icons a box. So not only it's like this Clementine. This is one of my favorite uh, media players in Ubuntu. It does not come with these box icons that I have installed. These are the Fanza or the Finza or however you say it, icon set. But it automatically makes it into this uh, cube looking shape so it works well with Unity which is awesome. And it enables you to be able to have like a smooth desktop. So if we come on here and click, uh, it kind of does what a Mac does now. But not quite, uh, just a reminder, this is not the final version of Ubuntu. This is actually still kind of a beta build because the new version isn't slated to come out until about April, I think. So, you know, don't expect this to be how it works in the future. And of course, we'll have another video on how it works uh, later. But anyway, you can come up here, like on a Mac, and you can. It has the um, the um, options and your settings and things up here on the top navigation bar, which is cool because if you're running like a desk or if you're running a netbook or something, you can have maximum space on your desktop as you can see here and uh, not have to worry about the uh, application settings or whatever so that's pretty cool also you still have your main indicators up here in the top they haven't changed that but I really do like this you can just search for whatever you want and the cool thing is let's just search for something that I don't have installed on here uh, let's just search for gnome gnome do wait I can't type I don't know what I'm trying to write in here, but anyway, um, all right, I could look kind of stupid here. How about we try something that I know? Maybe not. I was thinking that it searched the uh, application store 
or the Ubuntu Software Center if you didn't have it. Let's try something that I know I don't have installed. Let's try uh, PyTask maybe. No, okay, I was wrong. Never mind. It does not index the Ubuntu Software Center, but you know you can click on here, say go to web. It automatically opens your default web browser. You can also say go to music, uh, photos and videos, games. I think this just brings up all your games here. Yeah, so you could simply, you know, open up one of these here. You can also go into email and chat, office, and I think this will carry you straight to the Ubuntu Software Center, if I'm correct. We'll let it load here. Yeah. And uh, anyway, going down through here, you've got, uh, you can really dock anything you want. Here's the file manager. You can also, you can click here to get applications. Um, you can also look at your files here, so you can look at your main file system. Um, and then finally, you can look at your trash can here. And uh, these icons come standard. I think it also had uh, Firefox, Evolution, some of the programs that ship mainly with Ubuntu docked here. So if you'd like to check it out, you can check the video description below where I will um, include some details on how to install um, the Unity interface on your Ubuntu desktop. And until next time, guys, make sure to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash pbcasttv pbcasttv.com and you can also make sure to subscribe on YouTube youtube.com slash pbcasttv and also check me out on Twitter twitter.com slash thatnickjones until next time guys, I'm Nick Jones hope to see you soon, goodbye